Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is the second part of this video about this heart and a cross. And I mentioned that I took one of them from this picture. I hit F4 on the. Well, I was, I, I've already taken the picture away, but I I actually found it on a clip art that was pretty close, and as you can see, it's pretty fuzzy, but it traces real good. But there's a couple simple tricks so I thought I'd share with you. I'm going to click on the item. I'm going to resample it, but it's already 300. I wouldn't mess with it. I'd stay because it's real small. I'd go ahead and trace bitmap, outline trace, clip art. It takes just a second because it's small. Press OK. And then we're going to, as you can see right there as you're moving over, there's a inner part. So we need to go to arrange and ungroup. And what we're looking at, let's do our yellow box trick, put it in the back of the page. We got that white background. So we need to delete it. This is pretty clean. It's got a couple of hiccups, as I can see right there, but you could very easily delete that. Or there's another hiccup, I think, right up in here. So instead of deleting that last one, we could have just grabbed the Sorry about that. You could have just grabbed the, the red and just moved it out of the way. And it's going to leave all your hiccups away back in there. You can see all of them now. So there's a lot of your problems. And that's the reason I decided to do the video. This is already pretty clean. It's got a little bit of a indentation where those hiccups were. And very easily, and I always like to go to left click, right click, right click on red. And you can, they're more visible now. Just take your shape tool and just delete one or two of those nodes. You know, come even. There's quite a few bad spots on this thing, but if you delete one node at a time, and if you go too far, you can always go back. So we got a hiccup right there. I'm going to grab the shape tool again. I'm just going to delete that. I'd make this round so you could delete that one. Maybe not. Let's go here and zoom in. Let's grab it. Turn it to a curve. And see, then you could probably delete that one. Let's turn both these into a curve. And then when you click on it, you've got the other handle. And then you could probably delete that one. A lot of times when you're deleting stuff like that, you want to back out when you're deleting so you'll know that you've if you've messed anything up we can grab all that and reduce the nodes by the magical number 20 that I come up with I actually had some other stuff in there delete or uh, selected so in this case it might be easier just to delete and this you can zoom in on that doesn't look too bad delete that one turn these into a curve I'm left clicking, turn them into a curve, extend that out a little bit, maybe delete that one and delete that. Well, we deleted one too many. That's what I'm saying about backing up. Let's delete that one and see what happens. Now you can get your handles and make that more of a curve. And like the other video, you could play around with this till the cows come home, but Actually, maybe we can delete that one. Tell you what we can do, though. It might even be better to add a node right here to this corner by just double-clicking. Then when you take that one away, let's turn it into a curve, which it already is. Then you can play with these handles and make it look a little bit better. Same thing there. And then when you see a group of nodes like that, you've got a problem. Just start deleting that doesn't look half bad. We changed the structure of the heart, but if you back out, it still looks pretty good. Let's do this one corner. And really, I should have left that other node. That's one thing good about the, the backup tool. You can move, 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 move nodes around. You know, if it's not exactly where you want it, just kind of move that node 
And then you grab it and move it over here. Anyway, I hope that helped and thank you for watching.